Look at me. If you're a young man, what I'm about to say is really going to resonate with you. So you have one of two options. You can listen carefully and pay your full attention. It can distract yourself with instant gratification. You might as well switch off this video right now. <laughs> so, you know how we do. We've got a post it up. Yeah, pause it, get your mirror. I was working out, I had to eat first. That's what my gloves are doing. So, young men have it so hard in today's age. Read that first one there. Young men have it extremely hard in this day and age. And... Listen, it's not to say about women having it hard as one taking sides. All I can know is being in the man manosphere, right? Being a young man myself, of course, all I know is myself, my peers and my online community for what I indulge in regularly. And I see it, it's so profound in everyone around me. Look at me, I'm so serious. It's so profound to see so many of my peers, the people I know personally, or people everywhere, just wasting their time just existing not having any purpose being so mentally weak feeling so down it's so so difficult in this day and age for a young man to even even try to become better they don't even know that self-improvement is a thing just like myself and years ago and we're going to touch on the first point i didn't even know you had to improve yourself. I didn't even know about purpose. I just thought, oh, wake up, I'm alive. Let me just waste my time, do whatever. Oh, this girl is takes me back. Oh, let's go to sleep. Like, it's, it's laughable now, but it's so concerning because there's so many guys, young guys that were even turning their 30s, 40s, and they still, it would not click on in their brain that there's something bigger for them in this life that they can utilize their life and they can actually improve and grow to the man they envision. These guys are not even trying and it's so, so sad to see. What we're gonna do, and I wrote here the first point, how do you feel when you look at these pictures? So editors, as I'm talking, we're gonna put some photos up right now on the screen, okay? So you're gonna be looking at these photos right now and we're gonna discuss them. So, <laughs> believe it or not, that was actually me. <laughs> That was me when I was 17, 18, 19. I'm 24 now. Mm, big difference, right? <laughs> Completely, I ate, allow it, I've just gone down. Completely different person, right? Don't you find that shocking? My progress, right? You obviously may be gassed for me and maybe if you watch me, obviously you're maybe a switched on individual and you, know, you want to learn things from me and everything like that and you respect that, right? since you're on this channel, but what I want to touch upon is <laughs> did that version of Kiri at 17, 18, 19, or maybe like yourself, if, you're, if that's your age now, maybe a little bit above, depending on your self-improvement journey, whenever you started, everyone's different, of course, but did that version of me or even yourself right now envision what you could be like when I was 21, 22, 23, 24? Did that version of me ever envision that? The answer is no. Because I didn't even know self-improvement was a thing. When you look at those photos of me, how do you feel? I asked you a question. When you look at those photos of me and look at me now, how do you feel? <laughs> those photos, especially me topless, Weak, right? Physically weak. As I said before, I was mentally weak. The other photo of me, what, no fashion, sitting on a flipping park bench or what, what that rubbish, I don't know. Look at my hair. <laughs> Look at my face. Look at my clothes. Even the other photo of me drinking. Look how skinny my arms are. I know my arms are still skinny, but look how skinny I was completely different person but that's just the physical you're forgetting about the mental and how much is in here and how strong and resilient i am now i'm an animal i'm a beast but back then i wanted to show the, you these photos so you can understand and relate with me because this whole channel is about authenticity and you just see and you're seeing me as the version i am now but you're forgetting about the journey so if you, i've gone from that to this and then maybe another five six years a complete boss man gang leader on top of the world 
then where can you go? I've asked you a question. Where can you go? The answer is, oh, the sky's the limit. You heard that shit before, but it's true. You can be and become whatever the hell you want. And this is so beautiful. I wrote here, avoid and learn from my mistakes. This is a very important point because when you see people further down the path, it takes a lot of modesty, you know, modesty where you drop your ego. It takes a lot of ability to go to someone better than you and say, how did you get there? We Again, on this channel, we're not hating on people. We're not saying, oh, this person at this level, they're old and feel some sort of resentment. We say to them, how can I be like you? Can you teach me stuff? And this is what I want to do. I want to teach my younger version in a way. I want to teach the younger boys, the younger people, even the younger women. I want to give you all my knowledge, everything for free because no one was there to give me my... <laughs> no one was there to tell me what I needed to hear. No one. So when I talk to you, it might be a bit intense and a bit brutal, but you know I'm a nice guy and all I want is the best for you. I have to be so firm but also fair at the same time as i go to scrunch this up i'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna choke you <laughs> that's a bit um okay so what i want to finally touch upon is a typical young man's situation as a young man maybe if you're watching this and you're resonating what is your situation like and this is honestly this is not instagram and what other people told you to say hi how do you actually feel in your day to days, what you wake up, maybe you go to school, you go to sixth form, maybe you try and talk to the girl you like, maybe she doesn't pay you any attention, maybe you go home and you're trying to buy FIFA points, <laughs> and then you haven't got enough uh, money to even spend it, so you're gonna have to ask parents, maybe you eat shit food and you can't watch videos like this to try and improve your life. Is that how your life goes? Because that's how my life went. As a young man, and everyone needs to know this, especially women, as young men, we all know these things, but we don't talk about it. And it's very, what I want to do is make it uh, extremely common to talk about hardships, okay? So as a young man, and there's no embarrassment in saying this, because even me, there's some of these that still relate to me at this day and age, okay? We're all in the trenches, we're all in the struggle, and we're just trying to get better. And that's all we can do as young men. As a young man, we have no money. We have no muscle. We have no confidence and we have no respect. I put here, we are essentially nobodies. We're nobodies. <laughs> and we have to create our value. We have no value. We're not like women where they're 18 and they're hot and everyone wants to talk to them. We're ugly, scrawny little bitch boys who are completely nobodies. We are invisible. And this is the point, we are invisible to girls especially. We want those nice girls, right? Yeah, we want to talk to them, we want to see them, we want to have sex them, take them out. We want to involve them, but they don't even give us a, they don't even give us a chance. We're nobodies. We are absolutely nobodies. But this is what you have to understand. Everyone has their time in the sun and it's not to say when women get to 35 or 40 they're nobodies but as we know men do like the younger most fertile women in their early 20s there's numerous studies do your own research for that that's what we are most attracted to and that's what we most want so our time in the sun isn't now we've got the rain the women have all the nice sun and get whatever they want on boats and yachts come on now you've seen 21 year olds get flying out whatever you're 21 year old you haven't got nothing in your pocket you're broke you're nobody you can barely even flip and talk to a girl we're nobodies and this is what you have to accept you have to accept you're nobody and that's not me putting you down because i was a nobody i was exactly like you you saw the photos i was a nobody as well we're all nobodies well done you're a man and you reached the age of 18 now you're nobody Unless you're an actor, footballer, rapper, someone of severe importance or has money given down from your parents, then you're a nobody from a young age. You're a nobody. So that's 99% of people. We're all nobodies. Okay? So now you understand you're a nobody. So what are you going to do now? Okay, let me say that. What will you do now that you're a nobody? Are you going to cry about it? 
Mm. Oh, boo-hoo, I'm a nobody, no one likes me, whatever, no women want me, no man show me respect, no. Or are you going to watch more videos like this, start researching, start understanding how to become a somebody? Because there's only two ways this can go. You can go down a path and be standby and not progress and let the time go by and slowly, slowly, slowly see your life fall and become spiral into a negative loophole where you hate your life and you hate yourself. Or you can say, yeah, you know what, I'm a nobody. I embrace that. I want to talk to people higher than me. I want to learn. All right, how, what haircut do I get? How can I improve my looks? How do I train? How do I improve my body? How do I get my money up? How do I make money? Or what, what sort of things can I put my time into that actually is going to benefit me? You have two options. You know which one I chose? You're going to sit here and look at me for five seconds and you're going to choose the right option. One, two, three, Four. <laughs> Four, five. You know what to do, innit? You have to improve. Yeah, and I'm here to help you. We're all here to help you. We're a community and we love each other, okay? Stay hard, stay blessed, and you honestly got this from the bottom of my heart because I was exactly like you. Ask, ask me, email me, anything, any questions you want, anything. I'm here for you and I want to help you, okay? Because no one here was to help me. I love you all. I promise. If you want to fix your life today or have access to my free self-improvement guide, all links will be down below.